Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today we're going to discuss jailbreaking post iOS 9.0.2 and the Pangu for iOS 9 jailbreak. So the possibility of an all new jailbreak for iOS 9.1 and 9.2, Apple's forthcoming next major iOS 9 release. <laughs> All right, so to start off, if you guys want a chance to win a brand new fourth generation Apple TV, just be sure to rate this video up and then navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari. Once you do sign up, it's very simple, and then just download one or more of the sponsored apps you see in the main section for points, just so long as you do earn points. And then once you do, go to the third tab down below at the bottom and you see that referral link, take the unique part so it appears after the equal symbol and post it in the comment section of my fourth gen Apple TV unboxing, which I will have linked for you guys on your screens now. And the reason why I'm discussing this at the beginning of the episode instead of at the end like I typically do is because we actually finished a complete free apps fast rewrite. So for those of you who have used the service before, it's entirely new. Now I'm going to make a video in the future once we get some of the kinks ironed out, but for now all you have to do is just go to freeappsfast.com, again if you've used it in the past, and then you can re-sign up and it should automatically grab your account, so your points, as well as your refund referrals. And then from there, you can use it as normal. We're also working on adding a number of new rewards, including PayPal, which should be live within the next 24 hours or so, and some new popular applications, as well as gift cards. So if you haven't checked out free apps fast, just be sure to do so over the next few days, because we will slowly be adding new rewards to it. Right now, we just have a couple for testing purposes, but as more of you start to show interest in the new free apps fast, we're going to continue that rollout, and we're going to speed it along nicely. So with that said, let's go ahead and discuss jailbreaking. Now, in this video, we're going to be specifically focused on which factors may influence the creation of the next untethered jailbreak utility. Now, the iPad Pro was released last week on Wednesday, and this may be one of the aforementioned factors that could influence the next jailbreak. So, if you don't know, the iPad Pro features an absolutely massive display. It is 12.9 inches measuring diagonally, so pretty much 13 inches, the size of the smaller MacBook Pro, as well as the MacBook Air. Air, so the larger MacBook Air. Again, close to 13 inches on the iPad Pro with the resolution of 2732 by 2048 and 264 PPI or pixels per inch. It also has Apple's all new A9X chip and it also has four gigabytes of RAM. So this thing is a complete powerhouse. I detailed it in depth in my unboxing and mini review of it in which I also compared it against the iPad Air 2, the previous largest iPad, as well as kind of ran through some benchmarks. So if you happen to miss that, be sure to check it out. And at this point, you may be saying, well, I don't have an iPad Pro, so why is that important and why does it matter to me? Well, essentially, as for jailbreaking, like with utilities from years past, Pangu and Taiji, the two teams who are currently active on the jailbreak scene, are waiting on not only the latest devices, or in this case device, specifically the iPad Pro, but also the latest firmware being iOS 9.2. See, jailbreak developers tend to wait for new releases before issuing a a jailbreak to ensure that it will function for as many users as possible, excluding instances where they need to rush a utility or a tool. So, for example, when Pangu is forced to release their iOS 9 jailbreak for iOS 9.0.2 instead of iOS 9.1, even though it was definitely in beta stages when the Pangu jailbreak dropped, because iOS 9.1 beta closed the primary kernel exploit. So, in other words, unless there's some sort of a complication or something that could interfere with with the release of a new jailbreak on the horizon, like 9.1 did for Pangu 9, then the teams like to wait for the latest releases. Again, in this instance, the iPad Pro and iOS 9.2. And now that the iPad Pro is available for mass distribution and customers can actually purchase it in store, one more piece of the puzzle is in place. Now we just need the public version of iOS 9.2 before Pangu or Taiji can finalize their next jailbreak. Currently, due to the stealth nature of of both teams, though it's unclear who will release the next jailbreak. In all honesty, it could be either Pangu or Taiji. However, once iOS 9.2 is released to the public, additional testing will undoubtedly ensue and will actually be required before we receive another jailbreak for iOS 9 post iOS 9.1. Again, as I've said in past videos up until this point, it would be better for whoever decides to release the next jailbreak to wait for iOS 9.2 instead of releasing a utility for iOS 9.1. 
9.1. And the reason for that is, of course, because we know iOS 9.2 is coming and is on the horizon. And if a utility were released now, then Apple would have ample opportunity to actually patch said jailbreak in iOS 9.2, the public version, especially since it's right around the corner. And as for a possible release time frame of iOS 9.2, iOS 9.1 was released about six weeks after it went into its first round of developer beta testing. And iOS 9.2 went into its first beta on the 27th of October. So it will be three weeks tomorrow on Tuesday, the 17th of November. So that means we're about halfway through iOS 9.2's beta life cycle if Apple decides to follow the exact same path they did with iOS 9.1. In other words, 9.2 could be released to the masses either at the end of November or the beginning of December, which will mark six weeks since it went into its first beta. And since every public iOS 9 release up until now has been on a Monday, then if it's at the end of November, it could very well drop on November 30th, or if it's in December, then December 7th. Again, those are both Mondays that fall in line with Apple's previous release cycles. So either way you slice it, we are close to iOS 9.2. Remember, it could be released even sooner, possibly next week, but if we're looking for a more realistic time frame, then again, Again, sometime around the 30th of this month or possibly the 7th of December. And remember, this part's even more important than that. So once iOS 9.2 is released, Pengu or Taiji will need more time to actually test the final public version before a new utility is issued. Of course, depending on what happens with iOS 9.2's public release, that is subject to change at any time. So just keep that in mind and I will definitely keep you guys notified if that happens or if any other developments pop up in the world of jailbreaking. So just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way you'll be fully notified. And if you want even more updates, such as when I'm working on new videos or when I cover other things outside of the realm of jailbreaking, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I just wanted to release this quick update for you guys to discuss how the iPad Pro and 9.2 may play into jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.